what they go do with me now I'm still a talk of the town Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down We turn the smiles into frowns Gang hop out, then we clearing the crowd I'm from the trenches, I got her nigga tennis New vibe, she don't love me, she just feeling me They gon' have to spend a lot of money So hey y'all, we got a new episode of Talk of the Town Today we have a special guest Is it Lil Reek or Lil Reck? Let the people know my name is Lil Reek. Okay. So it was Lil Reek. So tell us how you got that name. Like how that how that name came about. One of my um one of my homies growing up, I was always littler than everybody. And I was like, oh, I was getting old. I was 17, 16, and everybody was taller than me. Everybody was bigger than me, but I was still little, so he gave me the name. His name Nick's though. He locked up right now. Free my man's. So is your real name like Tariq or something? Yeah, Tariq. Everybody think it's Tariq. But my name Tariq. You watch Power? Nah. No. <laughs> Cause somebody gonna name Tariq, that's all right. I know who it is though. <laughs> okay, so um, tell us how you got into music. The same person that gave me my name. Tell you, tell you shit like that. He um, he had got locked up. And I used to go to the studio with him. But one time, my um, this girl I know used to just tell me all the time. She used to be dumb and annoying and telling me like, "Yo, you like a rapper? You like a singer? You like you could be a singer?" I used to be like, "Bro, stop telling me that." So then one day, I, my cousin told him, hit me up like, "Yo, come to the studio." I went to the studio, but him, the engineer, he told me the same thing. He like, "Yo, you look like you could be somebody." He like, "Get in the booth." I get in the booth. I wasn't doing. I ain't. You see what I'm saying? I wasn't feeling it. So I'm like, "Nah." Then I started doing it again once he came home from jail. Okay, so he definitely got you in the studio again once he came home? No, I, Or you were just practicing, or? Yeah, I was just, I was just fucking around. Fucking around. So what was your dream? Like, what, if you wasn't doing music, what do you think he was going to do? Or what do you think it was going to be? I ain't going to lie. I was, I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I don't even want to say the answer. answer. Yeah, I don't even want to say the answer for real. I was maybe. Okay. No. I didn't really like school for real. Um, everybody saying you look like this basketball player. Yeah, Jalen Green. Yeah, how you feel about that? I don't care. Do you play? You play ball? Who's good at ball? No, I don't play no. I don't shoot hoops. Okay. See what I'm saying? I don't shoot hoops. Okay, okay, okay. So, um, so what was the first song you put out? Like, really let the people hear. Like, check this out, y'all. Um. I think I rem I remixed um Playboy Cardi um Magnolia joint. Okay, that was what, twenty eighteen? Yeah, that's the first that's the f I don't know when or what. Yeah, I did it after a long time after he put it out though. He oh. had put it out and I had did it a long time after that. Okay. But I just put that out like play playing around type and then something happened. I started taking it serious, like Something happened. Like, like, other things happened. Yeah, in my life true. type shit. I, okay. I got, I, I had got locked up and I came home. And then, you know. You got locked up? Yeah, we don't want to talk about that too much, okay. though. Okay. <laughs> but that was before post music, so. When you got into music, when you, like, you really want to take it serious. Yeah. So what's like your goal with it? Yeah, everything, you know, everything big, everything big, you know. Everything big, so, um, so you just dropped your project. Yeah. Only yeah. one feature on there. Yeah, one feature, my man Doug on there, that's it, you know. Yeah. So why was, that, what was the tactics with that? Like, why you, why you made it like that? Because it's just like a thing where, you see what I'm saying, I want people to know I don't need a whole bunch of features on my, on my, Mixtapes and albums and all that for somebody to know that I'm a, I'm nice or somebody yeah. to intrigue my music. You see what I'm saying? Because that's why I'm, a lot of other people's music gets even played. You see what I'm saying? Because they got another artist on there that's majorly played. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I don't but want that. Features, but you wanted to make this project more about yeah. Music. I definitely do like do yeah. features and sh I shit like that. that. A couple New York features, you got a couple, well, I don't know how many, I know the Young Cowboy. Yeah. I, I made a lot of money, I made a lot of money off well, of features. Well, you know you're charging for features. I made a lot, a lot of well, money like, off features. Even still, you doing a feature 
remember you saw that DM yeah. and we saw it from yeah. you? You had to check it out. So like um so oh, was it so like I'm sure you kinda selective on who you do features with. Yeah, for, sure. for sure. So is it like you slowing down on the features or you wanna focus more on yourself now? Yeah, right now I'm I'm slowing down now. Before before I drop my tape. I was just doing features, whatever, whatever. See what I'm saying? Getting the cheese, stacking the cheese up. But now it's like I'm doing. I drop my tape. I'm about to be busy for a minute. So now, so now it's like, see what I'm saying? I gotta get active myself. So unless it's, see what I'm saying? They coming. They coming with the bag, bag. <laughs> Got you. But you was um, able to brought you out a couple of times. You know, messing yeah. with high bridge. You are high bridge, right? Yeah, for sure. sure. So you are high bridge for sure. How did y'all meet? Cause ain't you from Philly? Yeah. So how do you and high bridge just click up, click, click up, link up? They um, um, QP texted me on Instagram. Okay. And Don texted me on Instagram. What song? What song was it that they you think they hit you up? What do you think it was just your song was spreading? I only had one song out. Oh, okay. It's called Proud of You, and it only had like it had like eighty two thousand views, and it was out for like eight months, nine months. Okay. And. Yeah, they reached out to me, like, pull up, trying to holler at you. I got on the train by myself, tight. Went down. So you already was familiar with High Bridge being from Philly, of course. Yeah, yeah. sure. So what was it about them that made you, like, lock in with them? It was just, like, when I pulled up on them, you see what I'm saying? When I pulled up on them, I don't need nobody with me all the time like that. You see what I'm saying? So I, you see what I'm saying? I pulled up on them, dolo, like, boom. I'm talking to them. We having conversations. Like we wasn't even doing music. We wasn't talking about music. We just having conversations. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, all right, copy. I, I understood where they was coming from. So, and I, and then on top of that, where I come from, you don't get an opportunity like that. You see what I'm saying? Like a lot of people don't get opportunities at all in life to even change their life. You see what I'm saying? Like some people like miss their opportunity. Like you see what I'm saying? So it was like. A lot of people don't know, like, we, like, with family, you see what I'm saying? Yeah. We locked in for real. Yeah, for sure. So what was, the, what was the obstacle you had to, like, I guess, overcome? Or what was something that they, I guess, a lesson that they taught you, especially when coming into the music game and coming into the industry and meeting different people? Like, what are some lessons that you feel like you learned? Um, in this business, I learned, they, they taught me, like, in this business, you see what I'm saying, like, it's cool to it's cool to build relationships with people and understand certain things, but you gotta always understand that it's business at the end of the day. You see what I'm saying? Like as cool as it might get, as friendly as it might be, you see what I'm saying? Even you know, you gotta it's business. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's that's a big lesson I learned from them that they taught me. Like yeah, like. You see what I'm saying? Business is business. Like we on we on business. Like that's mm -hmm. what I'm saying. That's why I be on business time. And like I ain't trying to kick it with I ain't trying to kick it with all the rappers. And I ain't trying to I ain't trying but to be with they, it. Do you think kicking it with rappers play a major part in this? Yeah, for sure. But I ain't trying to be like, you see what I'm saying? If it ain't genuine, I ain't trying to do it just cause the next person trying to do it. You see what I'm okay. saying? Cause that's a you see what I'm saying? You know, you understand. Yeah, what I'm I saying. get it, I get it. They understand what I'm saying. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you're very selective on who you build building relationships. So what, what, was there ever a time you had to remind people, you know, like, this is business, like, you gotta... Yeah, a lot of times, because people... Because you're mad cool, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm a genuine type of person, see what I'm saying? Like, I don't care how what, what, what somebody really got going on. If, if you believe in yourself and your team believe in you and all that, and y'all got something going, you see what I'm saying? Y'all come around me with that, that energy. I know how it feel like to be... Down there, you see what I'm saying? Have nothing so well. So it's being cool here, yeah, but still you remember see? I'm handling business. I be telling I gotta understand cause some people be pushing their boundaries. See what I'm saying? Like a lot of people push their boundaries and don't understand. Like at the end of the day I still got my own life, you see what I'm saying? They think I'm a little Rico all the time. I'm not, see what I'm saying? So um so what was some adjustments you had to get used to? I'm sure people stopping now, I'm sure everybody wanna Fuck with you now. What was some adjustments you had to get used to? A lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. A lot. <laughs> the way the girls I talk to, the people I kick it with. Is, is dating harder now because you lit? Yeah, you know. Come on, you know that. I'm saying, though. Like, so, so, what is it that you're, I guess, looking for in a girl or you trying to, like, just I ain't focus gonna, on music? 
I'm on music timing right now. I ain't focusing on no girl right now because it's like, see what I'm saying? I'm trying. <laughs> see what I'm saying? I had, I got somebody in mind, but, you know, I got somebody in mind for oh, sure. You got a girl in mind? Yeah, I got a girl oh, in mind shit. for sure. For sure. Oh, but but we going to keep that between me and you. <laughs> see what I'm saying? So shout out to Shorty that little Me? <laughs> <laughs> that was cute. Uh, all right, so Rory definitely has a girl in mind, but you're still open to whatever happens. Yeah, for maybe, sure. Maybe not. Maybe. Yeah, no, no, for sure, for sure. <laughs> whatever hit the fan. Hit the so, fan. what are what are like some qualities a female gotta have? Like, what, like, what, like, what you not with? Like, what's the super red flag? Let them know what the red flag is. You wanna bring your friends everywhere? <laughs> wanna bring your friends everywhere, and they. And they don't want to do nothing. They don't want to. They so just want the friend potatoes. They just you see what I'm saying? They just want to sit around, <laughs> they soak just everything see up. What's going yeah, on. sponges. They just. I hate that. You know what I'm saying you can't come with that. You can't so, come with more than three friends. What's the, give us one more red flag. More than three? No more than three. No more than three. Because you, you got two. three homies. You got two yeah, other homies. Yeah, you two? see my. You see. <laughs> you see my. Yeah, she said, I don't even gotta see that. They over there. They over there. No more than that. Nah, no more. It's two right now, so two. See what I'm saying? So, yeah. And then, um, what's one more red flag? What's one more? Living their life off of Instagram. So, you hate a girl that posts everything? Yeah, no, just, just like everything that happens, you gotta be. be in it on Instagram. You post, yeah, like basically, you post everything, like, like. You say you get in an argument, go right to Instagram. Throw it up. You see what I'm saying? Or you, if somebody make you feel something, you go on Instagram like, nah, bro, I don't got time for that. People screenshot it, send you, you know. It's a different <laughs> type like of vibe now. So, you see what I'm saying? 700 people of my followers might like, screenshot it and send it to me. I don't got time for that. <laughs> okay, so how do you, um, so how do you keep your life private? Being an artist, you just real selective, low key. You go live here and there, man. I don't feel like you be doing too much. Yeah, I be, I be outside. You be outside. Yeah, I be outside. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> I be everywhere too. It ain't nowhere I won't go. See what I'm saying? I be outside. It just, that's just me. You see what I'm saying? But lately we been chilling. We was chilling till the music came out. The music out now, and I'm back outside. You know. Okay, you back outside. You know I'll be outside, though. We ain't even gonna talk okay. about that. You know. <laughs> so, what should we look forward to 2022? The year just started. Like, yeah. you just dropped your project, top of the year. You started first quarter strong. Point two Doug feature. You know. Still rocking with hybrids. You know. What, what can we look forward to? Like, help me. Tell 2022. me. Two. <laughs> Listen, I dropped the one one tape. Upgraded your ice. I see yeah, what's going on. How much did you drop for that? Man, you, <laughs> want to know, you want to know for real? Not for real. Like, because, you know, people say they got ice. 40 and 40. 40 for this, 40 for that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so saying. that was a congratulations gift? Nah, what made you want to cash out one time? This was a, this was a, like a, see what I'm saying? When you building up, you got to get your own, own, like, everything got to be yours. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like, a lot, a lot of people don't got to change what they names on. You mm -hmm. see what I'm saying? They got to change to mm -hmm. give to, you see what I'm saying? When you put your name in diamonds, you see what I'm saying? People look at you differently, you see what I'm saying? Like earlier, I ain't going to lie, we just was in Walmart. I try and get my money from Walmart to Walmart from front of future, you see what I'm saying? I'm trying to get the money to me. He tell me my ID, my stuff. I tell him, he tried to say it's fake. I tell him, Bro, my chain say my name right here. So the lady, she get my ID, she look at it, and she look at my chain, and she said, "No, you good, you cool." <laughs> See what I'm saying? It just means something. It's See what I'm just, saying? It means something to the people. Yeah, to people, it just. Does mean, jewelry matter and stuff to you, or you just feel like you kind of gotta do it as an artist? Yeah, no, nah, it don't really matter. Like I like jewelry now. See what I'm saying? At a point in time, I never cared about, it, but now, like, I really like jewelry. See what okay. I'm so. So what would be your next piece you get? Going still on the cop right now. What's the next piece? You want a little watch, a little bracelet? Yeah, I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Cuba. I'm going to layer up on another layer big, up on another big piece. Cuban. <laughs> <laughs> another okay. big piece. Cuban. Okay. 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 How you? So um. So you from Philly, but you in the New York scene. I feel like. Yeah. What's the difference between like Philly and New York? Like, what's the, what's the difference? New York. On the music from, tip. 
New York way different. You see what I'm saying? Cause Philly, like everybody right the same, but you know, it's like it's just like I heard everybody do the drill. Everybody do the drill, but out there is a different type of rap. Like it's like a Philly, it's like a Philly drill type, like. They got their own sound. They got drill? I feel like they, they got trying to be heavy on the bars. They got heavy, no, not right now. Everybody, they trying to do drill and they doing, it, it, they got the Philly Detroit thing, like, you know what I'm saying? Oh. Like, everybody want to sound like. That's not your box? No, nah, I don't be doing that a lot, you okay. know what I'm saying? I don't do that a lot. All right, so you fucking with the New York scene? Any yeah, artists sure, you fucking sure. with? Sure, sure. Um, fucking with any artists out here? Or? Yeah, I fuck with, a lot. Cool. I fuck with a lot of artists, but. Yeah. How do you feel about New York being super political? You think that's a bad thing? You just want to stay out that drama? Like, what's your thoughts on that? I don't be caring about nothing for, for whatever come. You see what I'm saying? You know, my God's my God. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? So, like, whatever come with, whatever come with, whatever. You know? But those, that's family. Yeah, that's so it's like whatever. Hit the fan, hit the fan with my brother, so. I don't, I ain't gonna like stay out of it, stay in it, but I don't try to chase it. Yeah, like if it happens. If it, it comes happens. to me though, like. Okay. Okay, so how do you, but overall though, you think you fuck with the New York scene right now? Yeah, I love New York. Do you fuck with the drill music? Because I yeah. like that you don't really try to make drill songs. I feel like you stay in your lane. Yeah. I feel like you can tap in there, but you don't want to get in there, or? Yeah, I can. I got drill songs. I just don't. You see what I'm saying? That's not me. Okay. When you think of Lil Reek, you don't think of. Drill, or when you I think know. of Lil Reek, you don't think of. Oh yeah. <laughs> you got a drill song coming out. I gotta listen to this. You see what I'm saying? It's like, nah. You 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 looking for driving crazy? Looking for you like that. See what I'm saying? They have vibes. Dangerous. Yeah. All those vibes. You know. Those are the vibes. So like how so like according to music videos things like that you have full creative control. Yeah. Are you and your team like sit and plan out vids or how does that go? Um, my team really let me like I get to plan out everything for real, for real. But then we come to the table as one. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And really like decide what we gonna do. You know what I'm saying? Like all my songs on my tape, I chose them and then we all sat down and we all, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like they. It's a, it's a team thing, you see what I'm saying? Okay. How many songs did you say you got in Tuck, though? I know you just dropped this project, but you got a lot of shit in Tuck. Yeah, you be in the studio a lot. lot. Yeah, you got a lot of shit. I, don't, I couldn't even give you a number. It's too, <laughs> way too many. Too many? Way too many, way too many. Do I be in the studio every day. Mm. Do you have, like, a favorite producer? Um. Um. Can't remember. That's okay. Um, I got a couple produced by Legacy. Ledge, Ledge, the producer. Um, and I got a couple other ones. From, from Lucci. I got some. Uh, yeah, every year. It's a whole, you know, they need to be different. Yeah, and then you probably get shit to your email. That's your probably yeah. number. So, um, so what's like, what would you say was your biggest accomplishment so far? You made it from the mud. See what I'm saying? You <laughs> came from the mud. See what I'm saying? So, one, in one year. You know what I'm saying? Like, we did all of this in one year. You know what I'm saying? Because you started rapping when? 2018? No, 2019 I started rapping. When Take Me Seriously 19? Yeah, the 2019 okay. I started rapping for real. For real. So, one year, that's your career. Everything. Everything. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Laid out smooth. So, what's on your bucket list so far right now? So, you made out the mind, of course, but what are you looking forward to? What do you want to accomplish as an artist? Yeah, I'm trying to be on. On the billboards, like top ten, you know what I'm saying? Top like, ten. Like we try, we, we try to hit rap caviar type, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm, I'm trying. Yeah. So how do you feel like you improved as an artist from then to now? A like, lot. Your uh, experience is developing a sound. Like what do you what would you say? I know how to um now. See what I'm saying? Like before I was an artist, but I wasn't like a true artist. You know what I'm saying? Now I know the craft for real, for real, and I know like. Like what, what you gotta do, see what I'm saying, to really like become, become the person you mm -hmm. wanna be, see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. If you understand what I'm really saying. Yeah, so when people hear Lil Reek, what do you want them to think though? Like what legacy do you wanna leave on this music industry? Like you ain't think that deep yet? I thought that deep. Okay. Just, they just asked me that the other day, but I, I ain't gonna lie, I forgot that. <laughs> 
So tell us new intro. What legacy you want to leave when I, on this music show? When I, when I leave, see what I'm saying, I just want everybody to know, like, see what I'm saying, that know me mm -hmm. and that was around me and surrounded by me, like, know, like, everything I did for 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 us, you see what I'm saying, it was mm -hmm. genuine, you see what I'm saying, nothing was ever for just me, you see what I'm saying. Yeah. I got, I like really take care of my mom and do everything, you see what I'm saying? Like, everything is for us, it's not really no selfish, like, you see what I'm saying? I want people to know, like, we was really been doing this, you see what I'm saying, mm -hmm. for a long time, you see what I'm okay. saying? We, even though it might feel like a short amount of time, but them days was long, you see, the nights was long. To take care of your family. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. So tell the people what we should look forward to, 2022 just started. What can we look forward to? Project out right now. We'll stream that. We'll tap in. 12 songs for me. Yeah. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Listen, 2022, I'm dropping a whole bunch. I'll probably drop two more tapes. See two what I'm saying? Tapes. We turning up. We ain't stopping. See what I'm saying? We go out and more jewelry. More jewelry. See what I'm saying? Ain't. More fast cars. <laughs> see what I'm saying? More cribs. You see what I'm saying? We doing shit they can't do. See what I'm saying? The pandemic over. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> But we still flexing, we still going hard, you see what I'm saying? We ain't clock out yet, you see what I'm saying? But like, listen, man, I just want y'all to know. Tell me who to find, who to find music. Man, y'all know I'm Slow Reek, man, L-I-L-R-E-K-K, -K, man. Find me on everything at that, man. The biggest high bridge niggas, man, y'all know how we come outside, man. 